Hello and welcome! My name is Jessica Jem, and today I'm excited to show you this colorful sketch that I created for the one year anniversary of the start of my D&D group. Roll for initiative! To celebrate this milestone, I decided to draw us all as toddlers. It was a fun and unique way to capture the spirit of our group and reflect on our journey so far. We've been together since June 29th, 2021, so this is from mid-2022. Expect another later this year! I started with Acho, a human fighter who's always training, and who can be a bit gruff and stern. To try and capture that energy, I drew him knocking over blocks like a huffy child. It was a playful way to show his personality and add some humor to the sketch. Next, I drew my own character, Rail, a half-elf sorcerer who spends much of her time in the library reading or doing paperwork. Then there's Volpez, a human menace, I mean wizard. They are a little chaos gremlin, so I drew them running with scissors because, well, it kinda tracks. I also gave Rail a little stuffed dragon for her kobold friend Kay. He can't be missing either. Shadow the Tabaxi is also added in the sketch. I got a chuckle out of this original idea, but I wanted to show his worried face. He's definitely regretting getting involved in Vulpes's antics. Also, the fact that they're holding both scissors and his tail at the same time is another reference to some amusing campaign moments. I guess he had to be there. After sketching out these ideas, I refined the drawings a bit more for clarity and a polished look. I added a carpet below them for child safety, and base colors to draw on later. I also included more nods to our in-game adventures, like this Tempress doll, which is a reference to a character who found us early on and gave us a mission and supplies. A ball of yarn for Shadow, and for those who get it, there's a heart on the floor. I also made the sides cut in this specific way, if you get it, you get it, wink wonk, which is a nod to Vulpa's chaotic behavior. It's the kind of thing they would totally do. Now that I had the sketch down, I added their actual colors, including all of their arrival uniforms. Saturated purple shading, a few choice bright highlights, and some final finishing touches to make it look more impressive and complete. To finish it off, I added a childlike one-year label to mark the occasion and give the sketch a celebratory feel. In the end, I'm really happy with how the sketch turned out. It's a fun and playful way to celebrate our group and the adventures we'd had together over the past year. Thank you for joining me today and I hope you liked this peek into the creative process behind this D&D sketch. Until next time, keep rolling those dice. Farewell, and have a wonderful day!